Here are my monthly favourites for April, May 2020. This is the Furio Luna Mini 2. I was gifted to this for Christmas and I love using it. I try using it at least three days a week, either in the morning or evening. Evening it gives me more time, so probably evening. If I can use it daily, I would use it two times a day, morning and evening. It's not harsh on your skin at all. I chose the pink one, I think it's for sensitive skin. I have oily, acne prone sensitive skin. These two products I use for double cleansing. This is the Vanilla & Co Clean It Zero Cleansing Balm, Revitalizing. This is the green one, perfect for oily skin. And this one is the Low pH Good Morning Gel Cleanser by Cosrx. The combination is works wonders for me. When I'm in the shower, I like to exfoliate gently when I can remember to. I will use this Etude House Baking Powder, Pore Cleansing Foam. It has little bits in it, uh, but it's not too harsh for you to use. If you use it twice a week, maximum. I love this fragrance, it was gifted to me for Christmas. Uh, Gabrielle Chanel Essence, I use it daily. This BB cream I've been using for years is by Etude House Precious Mineral BB Cream. I usually use the shade beige, but now it's summer, I've decided to choose the sand colour, which suits me perfectly. It gives a made up look. Um, if you don't want the whitening effect, I would choose the shade darker. It also has SPF 50, which is perfect for protection against the sun. This is a new discovery for me. It's the Misha Perfect Cover BB Cream, shade number 23, with SPF 42. It gives a natural look. I would recommend it. This shade is perfect for summer. So after two, this was a natural look, and this was a more made-up look. On summer days, I like to use CC Compact, because I know that uh, it, my skin gets oily, and CC Compact is light for the skin. This one my sister gifted me for Christmas. It is the Misha Glow Ample Pack. This is how it looks like inside. With a powder puff inside. I've used it as you can see. It gives a nice natural glow look. This is the Etude House Face Blur Smoothing one. It helps you to put on foundation and let it settle with a smooth look. It has a tint of colour which is evens out your skin tone, which is really useful. I've been wanting to try a liquid blusher for ages. I finally got this one last order uh, from Yestal. Juicy Pan Blusher by APU. This is the shade VL02. It's a purpley colour and it leaves a nice natural looking blush on the cheeks. And that's it for my April main monthly favourites. I hope you enjoyed it.